Hi guys, Freezing Inferno here again, and you're watching Let's Play Castlevania Adventure. Oh boy. It's been a while, I've been busy this week, yeah. But that's enough of that for me. In addition, you'll notice that it's not black and white anymore, because I'm using a different emulator. Visual Boy Advance had some desync issues, so I had to find a new one. I went back to BGB, the one I used for Dragon Quest 3, so let's play. Alright, right away you'll notice a few differences, thanks to a patch given to me by Mr. Not Dave. Don't turn off the game. Thank you, Mr. Now, first and foremost, you'll notice that if I get hit, my whip doesn't downgrade. Change number two, the items are different, like the money is actual money, the invincibility things are potions, and uh, the hearts are something else, too. And the final change, and the one I love the most, Christopher Belmont can now actually walk fast. Oh yeah. That's This is a great patch. It, it's just fine and dandy. I love it. Okay. So here we are in the, a cave level. And I don't like those guys at all. The guys that spit pinballs at you. Ugh. Yeah, those are the life things. That, that dude down there, he's like an axe armor. You remember Axe Armors from the other Castlevanias? Yeah, he's like him, except he throws sickles and boomerang on you. Yeah. Well, this level's got some few tricks to it, like this little tricky jump. It's simple stuff, really, so far. The game's not getting truly hard. Oh, look at that. That's fun. There's a whip upgrade in that candle over the pit, but <laughs> screw that. I don't need whip upgrades anymore. <laughs> All right. We got us some fun spitter time! <coughs> yeah. Little throat clear there. Ah, this bridge. Now, you'd think it'd collapse on you, but not quite. See, you got the eyeballs there. You know how the eyeballs explode. Well, if they explode over the bridge, they'll take out some of the bridge. But thanks to the patch, old Chris here can just outrun the eyeballs. If you were playing without the patch, you'd ori originally you'd just have to you know, turn around eventually before they hit you and blow them up. But here, I can outrun them, thank god. Yeah, that patch makes the game a bit different because the game was actually designed with slow Belmont in mind. Who made that design decision? I don't know. Maybe it was to save memory on the Game Boy? Mm -hmm. This was a pretty early GB game, huh? 89, that was when the system launched with Tetris and Super Mario Land and... This looks way better than Tetris and Super Mario Land, I'll say that much. Uh-huh. And now I am rambling. Oh, goody gumdrops. Okay, can I get over here? Is there something over... Ah, I just missed. It's a one-up. Now, this place is sort of a maze. You have to go right. That's the correct order. Right, then left. It's over here. Oh, invincibility. You go any other way, you're pretty screwed. I've ran into a dead end in one take of this. Okay. Oh. I didn't really need to avoid my head of invincibility, but... Mm. Alright, spitty boy. Come here. I'll whip you into shape. <laughs> I believe we're near the end of the level, actually. Pretty sure. Okay, we got a sickle guy. Well, we can just beat him with the fire of the flame whip. Yeah. <laughs> Easy pick. Whoa! Crap. <laughs> I guess it was still invincible there when it when it came back for a second pass. Down we go. Oh, and we're at the boss. Is it a recognized Castlevania thing? No, it's frogs. My God, what? I'm gonna say it again because it's one of those things where I'm not making this up. The second boss of Castlevania Adventure is frogs that pop out of holes in a cave. If that's not the silliest thing you've ever heard, well, well, it's not the silliest thing you ever heard, I guess. There are way sillier things, but it's pretty silly. And they're easy as hell with the flame whip. You just sort of, eh. You get, I get hit a few times, I bet. But, eh. Nothing major, you know, huh? Just jump and whip, jump and whip. Wait for him to come down. Time your whip and whip. Get him with the flame whip over there. It's just simple. 
I mean, why couldn't it be an actual Castlevania boss, like a Medusa? Or the Frankenstein monster? Or mummies? Oh, and I win. Yeah, that's it. I win. Tally, tally, tally. My points, points, points. I've got lots of time because Christopher Belmont can actually walk now. He doesn't have a broken leg. Hooray. Okay, that's it for now. Next time on Let's Play Castlevania Adventure, Crazy Spike Area. Until then, I'm Freezing Inferno. Adios.